Hey guys, how are you? It is Allison from Allison Answers and Lago Counseling Services. If you hear a lot of noise around me, it's because there is a lot of noise around me. Just want to say hey to you guys. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful morning or whatever time you're listening to this. So what I want to tell you guys today, which is really super cool, we have all these things that we're desiring and wanting in our life, and it's really affecting us, all of us. The coolest thing is is that those desires and wants inside of us, we've been taught are not something that we should be desiring or wanting because to be in a state of want means that you're in a state of lack. You know, you're always thinking about not what you don't have. And I wanna pose like a different kind of idea to you that deep inside of you, we, or all of us, not every one of us here, we have these like sparks and desires for all these amazing things. And a lot of times our state of being, as I had discussed in another video, our state of being is very, very impacted by all of the things we don't want. I want you to notice now for the next 24 hours, all the different things that happen throughout your day. It could be, you're gonna be surprised at how many you find the things that you don't want. It could be that somebody cut you off. It could be that you don't want to wear that or you don't want to do that or you don't want to feel that. I want you to notice how much of your time is spent in don't want because the reason I think that we end up in that place of don't want is because the wanting that we're feeling inside of us is really who we are. And if you really, really think about you know, our desire for money, our desire for a relationship, our desire for all the different things that we desire is really because we desire to be in a really, really beautiful state of being. And that it feels like those are the things that are going to give that to us. And yes, those things enhance our life. And we should be, there's nothing wrong with wanting. The, the, the thing I say to you, though, is that very often when we're wanting, it's really it's coming from a place of lack instead of wanting from a great state of being. So I want to say to you, just for your challenge today, is you're going to spend the next 24 hours, notice everywhere you go, if you go into a restaurant, wherever you are, I want you to notice when you have a fluctuation in that state of being, the state of being that you want that we talked about last time, remember what that is, the state of being of peace, of joy, whatever, you have to choose it, choose it and stay, stay married to it, marry your state of being that you want to be in. And say, when you start to feel a fluctuation in that, ask yourself, what is it that I don't want right now? What is it? And then ask yourself, what, what do I want? And start focusing on, oh, I would really love it if I could find a really nice, beautiful um, friend to talk to. <laughs> I was trying to come up with it really quick, ladies. I couldn't come up with one. Because I mean, what I was actually thinking is, when you're going to be taken to be seated at a restaurant, you start to be like, oh, I don't really want to sit there. But you don't say it. And it kind of like doesn't like what you re, you're focused on what you don't want or when you don't like something that you eat. What do you want? So shift it over from what you don't want and start thinking about the thing that you desire and start looking at what you love about what's around you because you want to bring your state of being higher. You're going to notice this as such a profound part of your life that it's going to shock you. So, and it's going to change you. So don't be discouraged when you notice that a lot of your time is spent in what you don't want. So then when you see it, right, and you know that, wow, I can't believe this. Don't beat yourself up. Promise me you're not going to do that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to start to shift. You're going to say, okay, instead of spending so much time, this is what a lot of arguments are about. I always try to tell couples, you know, in a marriage or whatever, a relationship or friends, people are always talking about what they don't want, what they don't like, what they don't want the person to do, how they hurt them, all these things. Now, those things are true, but they're not effective. What's actually effective is to say to a person, you know what would really make me happy? And then you tell them, instead of pointing out all the things they didn't do, tell them what would really, really jazz you, what would really bring joy to you, and focus on that. And remember, you're not dependent on another human being to bring that joy to you. If someone isn't able to do that, find it. Say, I'm, I'm committed to my joyful state of being, so I'm going to find, I'm going to know what I want, 
and I'm going to obtain what I want in the way that I'm able to today. So I hope this is clear. Notice how much time is spent in, wow, I really don't like that. Or I really don't want that. Or, oh shit, that's a bad thing. Oh, okay, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.